Alright, steady there, Link. Easy does it. Just take careful aim at that Skulltula. And... BAM! Nice. Good shot, Link. And we get our... Whatever Skulltula token. Anyways, hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 59 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, we did some stuff. I, I think we planted the magic beans in the soft soil patches. And that's about it. And, um... I said I wasn't going to record again until I got my wink wink nudge nudge. And I haven't gotten that yet, actually. I'm still waiting on it in the mail. But I decided that you guys have gone long enough without an episode of this. You've been watching too much gobble recently. So I want to make one of these. And what I'm going to do in this one is I might do the fire temple, I don't know. But for now, I'm just going to go to each of the soft soil patches as an adult to show what you can do with them. We're going to start in the Lost Woods. Um, I'm probably just going to cut to each one of these, except maybe these first few here. Because the first few that I'm going to are really close together. And, um... Uh, yeah. So, they won't, I won't have to cut them really, because I'll just be like... 20 seconds of footage that I cut out, and that's kind of pointless, but whatever. Now let's make it daytime just so I can see easier. There we go. Whatever. Alright. Let's just move on past this guy. Oh god. I almost ran right into the path. Ouch! Oh my god. Look at how far he knocked me back. What a bitch. What a bitch. Alright. Uh, I'll just leave you. I don't really care. Oh, you're in my way, dude. You're in my way. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Alright. What am I going to talk about? I don't know. I don't really have much to talk about. Um. No, I can't think of much to talk about other than the fact that I need my wink wink nudge nudge in the mail. Because I'm still looking at this tiny little preview window on my computer. I need to be nighttime to do something here. Just so that you know. Okay, so first one that we're going to go to, I guess, is going to be over here. Over here. Yep. I'm trying a new recording style for my voice. Um, It's the same microphone, it's just kind of... It's hard to explain, but it is different. And, well, just... I'm just going to interrupt myself here. There's the soft soil, this the, the magic bean platform of doom that you step on, and it's possessed, and you, you can ride at places. Such as up here, where you will find a Skulltula, but only at night time. So that makes another Skulltula token. Let's check out how many we have now. Let's see here. 65, damn, that's a lot of Skulltula tokens. Hmm. It's more than one per part. What, six more than one per part? I don't even know. But all I know is that I'm awesome, so... Yep. That's all I can say about that. And then there's the sec- the second one is gonna be over here, I think? Yeah, yeah, it's over here. Alright. I actually tried recording this yesterday, but... Wouldn't you know it, my friend calls me up and asks if I wanna hang out during- like, during the- literally the middle of my recording. Anyways, ride this next possessed platform, which takes you absolutely nowhere. Anyways, yeah, I hung out with my friend yesterday. It was awesome. It was awesome sauce. I rode in a dune buggy, which was fun. Yep. And, yeah, see, there's there's literally nothing that you can do with that, pretty much. Except maybe go visit that one guy who sells you, like, whatever it was, the stick, the bag for the date sticks or something to increase your capacity. But I don't think he's even there as an adult, so that doesn't even matter. And then there's another possessed little platform over here. And we're going to go find that, and then we're going to cut to the next one, because it's a little far out of the way. And possessed platform of doom. Roar. Just get a nice little view over Kokiri Village. It's kind of re reminiscent of the Navi's first person perspective that we got at the very, very beginning of the game. Remember that? Way back in episode one of Swords and Rupees. That's such a stupid name, man. What was I thinking? Oh god, lag! No! Oh, look, Rupees. Too bad my wallet's full. Damn it. Damn it. I'll get them anyways. I don't even care. Ha! I stole all those Rupees from Mido, I guess. This is a secret stash. 
Anyways, so I am going to cut to the next one. I will see you there. Good God, it's already been five minutes on this thing, and I haven't even talked about anything. It's just like, oh, here's another possessed platform. Huh? Rupees I can steal from Mido. Huh? Whatever, here's a nice little overview of, I guess, Lake Hylia. It's not much of a lake anymore, as you can see down there, but whatever. It's a tree. Nice. And that's about it. There's really no point to this. You can take it as a shortcut to the fishing hole, and you can also take it to ride up onto this guy's roof here. You go get that heart piece if you don't have the Scarecrow song or something like that. But yeah, um, don't really have time to talk about much since I'm cutting a lot, but I'll see you at the next one then. Alright everyone, I'm at the bottom of Gerudo Valley now, or Gerudo Gorge, with this next platform of Possessed Doom, or Possessed Platform of Doom. I'm getting the names mixed up now. Why am I going down here? There's an Octorok down here. Save me! Uh... Oh look, that 20 rupees. Awesome. Yeah, so basically this one serves to get out to this uh, heart piece that's out here, but I already collected it as a kid with my awesome chicken of awesomeness. So anyways, oh my god! Well, fine, let's just float down wherever. What do I care? But you guys don't need to see this, so I'll just, I'm will just i just going to cut to the next one. Go away, Octoroks. Uh, why are there so many octopus in this river anyways? Thought this. Uh, do octopus really live in fresh water like that? Well, whatever, you guys. I'm just going to... I'm just going to see you at the next part, at the next scary platform of doom. Bye. You're so ugly, Mido. Here we are again, guys, with another possessed platform of doom! Yes, this is the very first one that we planted, and the only one that we didn't get a sculptural from, because it sucks. And it's basically a shortcut either up there, or anywhere, or just out to here, like a shortcut across Zora's River, if you really need it. And back, I guess. Octoroks, ha, huh? you can't hit me. <laughs> and looks like that's going to be about it for this one. There's really nothing to attain from that other than a shortcut. So, I guess, let's just cut to the next one. Alright everyone, now we're in Kakariko Graveyard to visit this possessed platform of Dune. But unlike most of them that we've seen so far, this one actually serves a purpose. To get you up here, where there's a crate. And you roll into that crate, and there's a random heart piece up here. What the hell. But I'm not going to complain, since that is 15 heart containers that we now have. Meaning we only have 4 more pieces of heart left to get in the entire game. Anyways, um, yeah, that's about it for that possessed platform of doom. We're gonna go off to the next one now. Oh my God! Here it comes! Here it comes! Here it comes! Here it comes! <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, you go, you go into Dodongo's cavern there. Anyways, here we are with the second to last platform of doom, possessed platform of doom that is. And this is how you're supposed to get up to this heart piece up here, or you can take it as a shortcut to the top of the mountain there. But, since we already got this heart piece by kind of glitching, I guess, um, we don't need to worry about that anymore. And Oh my god! Where did you come from? Where? Whatever. Since we can pretty much just warp to the like, right next to the last one. Since we, yeah, since we can pretty much just warp to the, right to the next to the last one, I'm not gonna cut it out. I'll just let you, I'll just show you me playing Bolero Fire. Because it's an awesome song. Whee! And here we are in Death Mountain Crater, right next to the Fire Temple that we'll be doing shortly. But there is also another pla possessed platform of doom here, which actually will serve a purpose, as you will see in just a minute. It's going to carry us way up here and over to here where there is a heart piece for us. If you can just grab it, that would be nice. There you go. And now that leaves three more heart pieces to get in this game. Um, where can I hop down here? Down there? I assume? Looks like it. Nice. And oh, look at that. Landed just as the platform came back down. How epic. Anyways, um, so that's probably gonna be it for this episode, cause we're at about nine and a half minutes right now. Um, what else could I do? I could show you some st Yeah, I'll show you this. Um, show you what areas we have cleared out of Skullshot. It's Gruta Valley, we have a bunch to get there. Lake Hylia, I can think of one to get there. Long Island Ranch is done, the market's done, Hyrule Field's done, Death Mountain, I know of at least two that we have to get. Kakariko Village is done, or Kakariko Village is done, sorry. Lost Woods is done, Kokiri Force is done, Zora's Domain is... We won't be able to get all those until 
almost the end of the game. And we have 65 skull to lose, three more heart pieces to get, two more songs, four more medallions, and something there. Um, yeah. So, it looks like that's about it for this. Thank you all for watching. This has been kind of a boring episode in terms of commentary, at least. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you. Get ready for the Fire Temple next episode. And good night.